Hello, my name is Francis L, and here beside me is a Labrador Retriever crossed with a Pitbull Terrier, and her name is Tinola. I named her after my favorite Filipino food, which is Tinolang Manok, or chicken soup. I got her since she was four months old. I saw her at Craigslist, and she was a parvo survivor. She's originally from Mexico, but her previous owner brought her to California, and she doesn't have the time to take care of her anymore, so they posted her online. At that time, I just decided that I wanted a dog. Hopefully a dog that can go hiking trails and run for a long time. So I searched at Craigslist and there were a couple of pup owners that I made appointments with. I went to see the first one which is a Pitbull Terrier. It was a brown and well taken care of. And in the evening, I went to check out this Labrador Retriever. When we first met, this puppy was so happy. She was so small, just like her head right now, and her tail was wagging like crazy. She smells like shit, and she was malnourished. She got hot spots, fleas, and diarrhea. But regardless of her bad smell and poor health condition, I felt like I really wanted to take her home. I only saw a very excited and happy puppy. I didn't care about her smell. I told the owner that I wanted her, so I bought her for 300 bucks with toys, small size crate, and a bag of pedigree. Nola was so happy back then, and when I brought her inside my car, I almost threw up because of her bad smell. In the morning, I asked a friend to bring her to the vet because I had to work that day, and the vet found out that she has parasites in her stomach, causing her to suffer from diarrhea. They also told me that she's probably a pit lab because of her white spot on her chest. When she got home, I treated her right away with the medications from the vet. I changed her diet and gave her showers to heal the hot spots, but it took like a month before her bad smell was gone. I also noticed that her hot spots were slowly recovering with new healthy fur. As she grew big, we started having problems with my roommates and I felt bad to just keep her inside the crate and I wanted to give her a better life and a little more freedom so I decided to look for a new place for us and it didn't took a long time for me to find one and now we have a backyard so she could run around freely we're in a beautiful neighborhood and we're surrounded with mountains hiking trails and parks one thing I noticed about her as she matures that my dog is so quiet but so energetic and smart she loves to play fetch, and she always wants to be with me all the time, even when I'm delivering food for DoorDash. She likes to stick her head out the window as we drive. Nola doesn't bark. She will just look at you with her cute brown eyes and will hand you toys if she wanted to play. Nola needs a lot of walk and activities every day, so that gives me a reason to go out there and exercise, running, and hiking. She's so adorable and friendly with everybody. Nola has a white star shaped spot on her chest. She loves to play thug all the time. She goes crazy about it. And that's probably because of the pit bull in her bloodline. Now she is 15 months old. She is huge but she still thinks she's a puppy. She never runs out of energy. I'm so glad that I have her. I wish to bring her to the Philippines one day and visit some of my favorite waterfalls. I think she'll love it there. Thank you so much for watching through this video and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I will see you again on my next video.